Hello everyone. Okay, so in this video we are looking at the intersection of two circles. So we are going to be looking at the point of intersection of two circles. But before we look at finding the point of intersection of two circles, we need to find something called the common chord. So what is the common chord? Well, circles can intersect as follows. They can intersect like this, where we have two points of intersection, or they can intersect like this, where we have one point of intersection. So, uh, the line we draw uh, from the two points of intersection, this is called a common chord. And then this here is called the common tangent because it's a common tangent line to both circles. So it's actually very easy to find this line. So, we first have to write our equations of a circle in the general form as such here. So the x squared plus y squared plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equals zero. Then... We set the two circles equal to each other and then we take them away. We take the two circles away from each other and let it equal zero. And then once we solve that, we get an equation for the common chord. And then we find where the common chord intersects with the circle via um, intersection of a line and a circle method. So let's have a look here. Find the equation of the common chord of the circle x squared plus y squared minus 3x plus 5y minus 4 equals 0 and x squared plus y squared minus x plus 4y minus 7 equals 0. Hence, find the coordinates of the point of intersection. So, first step, we take them away. So it's x squared plus y squared minus 3x plus 5y minus 4. And I am subtracting x squared plus y squared minus x plus 4y minus 7. And this is all equal to 0. So subtract them away. x squared minus x squared is 0. y squared minus y squared is 0. Minus 3 x times minus negative x. That's minus 3x minus negative x. So that's going to be minus 2x because I'm... Uh, subtracting a negative number then I have 5y minus 4y which is just y and then finally I have minus 4 minus negative 7 which is just going to be four, minus 4 plus 7 which is 3 equals 0 and that is the equation of my common chord so now let's find the point of intersection so now um, I can sub it into either circle. So, first, remember when I find the point of intersection of a line and circle, I need to get this, one of these, I get one of my variables on its own. I'm going to choose y because it's easier. So y is going to be equal to 2x minus 3. Now I'm going to sub in to one of my equations of a circle. I'm going to choose my first circle, s1. So let's go. So I have x squared plus 2x minus 3 squared minus 3x plus 5 times 2x minus 3 minus 4 equals 0. So multiply this out. x squared plus, this goes to 4x squared uh, minus 12x plus 9 minus 3x plus 10x. Minus 15 minus 4 equals 0. I have 5x squared minus 12x minus 3x plus 10x is minus 5x. And then 9 minus 15 minus 4 is going to give me 9 minus 15 minus 4 is going to give me minus 10 equals 0. H1 difference, I notice I can divide across by 5. So it's going to be x squared minus x minus 2 equals 0. So two numbers that multiply to get minus 2, but add to get 1 minus 1. It's going to be x minus 2 and x plus 1. Therefore, x is equal to 2 and x is equal to minus 1. We are not done yet. So I found the x coordinates of my point of intersection. I need to find the y coordinates of the point of intersection. So how I do that is I just sub now x is 2 and x is 1 back in to my equation 1 up here. So when x is equal to 2, we have y is equal to 2 times 2 minus 3. y is equal to 1. So my first point of intersection is 2, 1. And I have x equals minus 1. And I have y is equal to 2 times minus 1 minus 3. 
and I'm going to have here y is equal to minus 2 minus 3, which is minus 5. So my second point is minus 1 minus 5. And they are my two points of intersection. So what does that mean? Well, it looks like this. Something like this, right? These are my two points of intersection. Uh, this one here is, actually, I think it's kind of more look like something like this. We're being pedantic about it. I think it's going to look somewhere like this. This one's going to be 2, 1, and then this one is going to be minus 1, minus 5. And that is the point of intersection of a circle. So it's like two circles. So let's look at some exam questions. So this question is from 2011. So the circle C1, x squared plus y squared minus 8x plus 2y minus 23 equals 0, has a center A and a radius or 1. The circle C2 um, is x squared plus y squared plus uh, 6x plus 4y plus 3 equals 0 and has the center B and a radius 2. Show that C1 and C2 intersect at two points. So we need to find, we need to prove that we can um, have two points of intersection. So x squared. So subtract the two circles. So C1 minus C2 equals 0. So I have x squared plus y squared minus 8x plus 2y minus 23 subtract x squared plus y squared plus 6x plus 4y plus 3. So x squared minus x squared is 0, y squared minus y squared is 0, minus 8x minus 6x is going to be minus 14x. Then 2y minus 4y is going to be minus 2y. And then finally, minus 23 minus 3 is going to be minus 26 equals 0. I notice here I can divide across by 2. So I have minus 7x minus y minus 13 equals 0. So this is now my common chord and my linear equation. So... <clears throat> Let's just get one of the terms on its own. I'm going to get y on its own. So if I bring y over to the right, I'm going to get y is equal to minus 7x minus 13. So I'm going to sub this into C1 or C2. Uh, it doesn't really matter which. I'm going to choose C1. So this equation up here. So sub 1 into C1. So I have here x squared plus minus 7x minus 13 squared minus 8 times 7x minus 7 is minus 13x no minus 13 oopsie daisy nope that's just going to be an x normal sorry minus x plus 2 times minus 7x minus 13 uh minus 23 equals 0 so i have x squared plus this is going to be 49x squared and then 7 times 13 182x then plus 169 minus 8x minus 14x minus 23 minus 23 also minus 26 2 times minus 13 is minus 26 right woo -wee! that's a bit of a doozy right so x squared plus 49 x squared is 50x squared gorge now 182x minus x minus 14 to 182 minus 8 minus 14 is going to be 160x. So plus 160x and then 169 <clears throat> minus 26 minus 23 is equal to 120 h1 difference i notice i can divide across by 10. so i have 5x squared plus 16x plus 12 equals 0. so this is going to be 5x two numbers that multiply to get 12. so 2 and 6 yep so it's going to be plus 6 here and it's going to be a plus 2. so we're going to have here x is going to equal to minus 6 over 5 and we're going to have x is equal to minus 2. So I have two values for x. 
So obviously I can stop right now because I have proven that it intersects the circle twice. But I want to find the other two points. So when x equals minus 2, y is equal to minus 7 times minus 2 minus 13. Y is equal to plus 14 minus 13. Y is equal to 1. So my first point of intersection is minus 2, 1. And my second point of intersection, x is equal to minus 6 over 5, is going to be y is equal to minus 7 times minus 6 over 5 minus 13. Put that in my calculator. I'm not dealing with that. 7 times minus 6 over 5. minus 13 and I guess y is equal to minus 23 over 5 so minus 6 over 5 minus 23 over 5 and there are my two points of intersection of the two circles how fun is that Right, so let's move on to the next part now. So the next part asks, show that the tangents to C1 at these points of intersection pass through the center of C2. So it's very, very, very important you draw a diagram, right? So this is C1 and this circle here is C2. So what it's asking you here is at these points of intersection, so uh, intersection here and intersection here, at these points of intersection, the tangent lines to uh, from C1 at these points, they will pass at minus 3, minus 2. So... What we need to do is we need to find the equations of these two lines. So I'm going to call this one L and I'm going to just call this one K. So line K. So remember the equation of line? We need a point and a slope. So I need to calculate my slope from my point of intersection to this center point here. Right? Because I want to find the equation of this blue line. And I can't just use this point because I'm trying to prove that this point is on this line. So I can't really use it to make the equation of said line. So... <clears throat> Uh, find the slope between these two points. So ML, that is going to be equal to so Y2 minus Y1 all over X2 minus X1. So it would be minus 1 minus 1 all over 4 minus negative 2. Uh, which is equal to minus 2 all over 2. No. Minus 2 all over 6, which is equal to minus 1 third. So the slope then is going to be positive 3. And then my point is minus 2, 1. So y minus 1 equals 3 times x minus negative 2. y minus 1 is equal to 3x plus 6. y minus, oh, that's right. y is equal to 3x plus 7. Right, so that is the equation of line L, the blue line here. Now it says prove that the point minus 3, minus 2 passed through it. So let's just do it now. So minus 3, minus 2, to sub it in here. I have minus 2 is equal to 3 times minus 3 plus 7. Minus 2 is equal to minus 9 plus 7. Minus 2 is equal to minus 2. So therefore, the left-hand side equals the right-hand side. So it's on the line. It's on the line. Right, now line K, and I imagine line K would be a bit more tricky. So line K, I need to find the slope between, oh, oh got it. This point of intersection, minus 6 over 5, minus 23 over 5, and 4, 1. So my slope is equal to minus 1, minus negative 23 over 5. So it's going to be plus 23 over 5. All over, 4, plus 6 over 5, put all of that in our calculator, and we get 9 over 13, Therefore, my slope is going to be minus 13 over 9. Right, minus 13 over 9. And then my point is minus 6 over 5. So 
So now my point is minus 6 over 5 minus 23 over 5. So y minus negative 23 over 5, so y plus 23 over 5 is equal to minus 13 over 9 times minus, what's right, minus 13 over 9 times x plus 6 over 5. Uh, I'm going to multiply across here by 45 because I want to get rid of my fractions. So 45y plus 23 over 5 times 45 is 207. And then that's going to be minus 65 is equal to x plus 6 over 5. So 45y plus 207 is equal to minus 65x. Then... <clears throat> minus 78 bring everything over to one side so 65x plus 45y 207 plus 708 which is equal to 915 not 915 915 where am i going with 915 207 plus 78 it's like 285 Two eight five. Uh, H one difference. I think I can divide across by fifteen. Actually, can I divide across by fifteen? No, I cannot divide across by fifteen. I can divide across by five, though. However, which is going to be thirteen x plus nine y and two eight five divided by five is fifty seven equals zero. Now let's check if the point minus three minus two. is on line. So let's check if the minus, minus three minus two is on the line. So 13 times minus three plus nine times minus two plus 57 equals zero. These are gonna go to minus 57 plus 57 equals zero. Zero is equal to zero. Left hand side is equal to right hand side. Therefore it is on the line. That was a tricky one. That was a very tricky one. Right, now let's look at the last exam question here. So this is 2013. So the circle C1 and C2 touch externally as shown. Complete the following table. So we want to uh, fill in the equations and radius and all that jazz. So let's look here. I have my center, I have my radius. I'm looking for my equation of C1. That is going to be X. So we're going to use X minus H squared plus Y minus K squared is equal to or squared where hk is my center so it's going to be h plus 3 squared plus y plus 2 squared is equal to or squared so 2 squared is 4 then i need to get my center point and my radius from this point here so 2g is equal to minus 2 g is equal to minus 1 2f is equal to minus 2 f is equal to minus 1 and then uh, C is equal to minus 7. So your center is minus G minus F. That's going to be 1, 1. So that's my center point of C2, which is 1, 1. And then my radius is equal to G squared plus F squared minus C, which is 1 plus 1. So 1 squared plus 1 squared plus 7 is going to be root 9, which is three bada boom bada bing right so these two circles touch externally as shown because they, so they share a tangent uh, a common tangent they only intersect at one point find the coordinates of the points of contact of c1 and c2 so there's two ways you can do this we can subtract the two equations like we did we could also subtract two equations like this, find the equation of the common tangent, etc. But I have a feeling we are finding the equation of the common tangent in part two. And I feel like that's not what you want to do now where you get your marks. Absolutely. But I have a feeling that's not what you want us to do here. So let's just fill in my radius as it is. So <clears throat> this is two. This is three. I'm looking for this point here. This is the center C2, which is one, one. And this is the center uh, of C1, which is minus 3, minus 2. What I noticed here 
is the point of contact here splits the line between the two centers in the ratio 2 is to 3. Right, so I know it splits it into the ratio 2 is to 3. So we're going to use my ratio formula from the equation of a line. So So to find the point that splits minus 3, minus 2, and 1, 1 in ratio, A is to B, which is 2 is to 3, is, uh, so the point is going to be BX1 plus AX2 all over B plus A. And by one plus a y two all over b plus a, and I'm gonna have here so b is three so three times minus three plus two times one all over five because uh, three plus two is five, and then I have three times minus two plus two times one all over three plus two which is Five. So minus nine plus two is going to be minus seven over five, and then minus six plus two is minus four, which is going to be minus four over five, and that is the equation. That's the equation at the point of contact, uh, or the point of intersection of the two circles. So that's how to I find the equation of the tangent. So there's two ways we can go about this now. I can uh, rewrite this equation. Uh, uh, in the general form, as we see here, and take them away. Or, I know what my point of contact is, so I have my point on the line, I just need to find the perpendicular slope. So I think I'm gonna do the second way. So, my slope between one, one, and uh, minus three, minus two, it's gonna be minus two, minus one, all over minus three, minus one, which is minus three over minus four, which is three over four, Therefore, my perpendicular slope is minus 4 over 3, and my point is going to be minus 7 fifths minus 4 fifths. So I have y minus y1, so it be y minus 4 over 5, which is y plus 4 over 5, is equal to minus 4 over 3, x plus 7 over 5, because minus x1. So this become a positive. Multiply cost by 15. I have 15 y plus 12 is equal to minus 20. 15y plus 12 is equal to minus 20x minus 28. So 20x plus 15 plus 40 equals zero. Divide across by five, I have 4x plus 3y plus 8 equals 0. And that is the equation of my tangent there. And that is intersecting circles and different ways and exam questions of doing it. Uh, I hope this video has somehow helped you guys and I'll catch you guys later. Bye.